Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this procedural brick wall in Blender by using geometry nodes. You can get the file on Gumroad for a dollar via the link in the description. So let's get started. First let's hit Shift A and add a plane. Now go to geometry nodes, close this window here and click on new. Delete the group input by selecting it and pressing Ctrl X. Now let's add a set shades move. This one and connect it to the geometry add a join geometry and a set material node duplicate it and plug them both in here and of course plug the join geometry into geometry first let's create the wall add a transform node plug the geometry into geometry then a volume to mesh node, plug the mesh into geometry oh, and set the set to 0 0.085. Now add a volume cube, this one, connect the volume to the volume and now we've got something like this. Add a wave texture, connect the color to the density. Now let's set this to set, the distortion to 2.5 and the detail to 15. Set the detail roughness to 1, the rotation on the X here to 90 and the set rotation to 180. You can leave the resolution at the X and Y axis on 32 of course, but I recommend setting it to anywhere between 32 and 250. But of course, the higher you set the resolution, the more processing your computer will have to do. So I'm going to set it to 250. For now, we don't have to change the resolution on the side axis. Now let's select all of these nodes and press Ctrl J to join them. Press N and let's label them concrete. Now let's press N again to hide this. And for the bricks, let's just add a transform node again. Plug the geometry into the geometry, volume to mesh, this one, and connect the geometry, I mean the mesh to the geometry. Here, let's set the set to 0.1 and the set rotation to 180 again, and here again 90. Add another volume cube. Connect the volume to the volume and now let's add a wave texture. Plug the color into the density again. Here I recommend that you set the resolution to 200 on the X and Y and on the Z let's set it to 25. Set this to Y, add a brick texture, set the mortar size to 0 0.025. Connect the color to the vector, set the brick width to 0.15 and the row height to 0.05. Connect the color to the vector. Now let's add a noise texture. Set the scale to 15.7. Connect the effect to the color 1 and duplicate it. Connect this factor to color 2. This is just in case you want to change anything for the noise textures. So we duplicated it. Add a random value node. Set the minimum to 0.9 and leave the maximum at 1. Connect it to the scale. Add a wall noise texture. And let's set this to distance to edge. Connect the value to the scale and now let's add a math node. Set it to subtract. Connect the distance to the value and let's duplicate the random value and connect it here. For this one let's set this to 0.1 and this to 0.75. Now let's move all of these nodes up a little like this and add a wave texture. 
connect the value to the vector, set the distortion to 100, the detail to 15, and the detail scale to 10. Now let's connect this to the scale here. Add a mix node. Now connect the distance here to color 2. And let's use this color as the factor. So I seem to have made a mistake here. We don't have to set the motor smooth to 0.1, we need to set it to 1. Now as you can see, for example, if I type in 0.5, it's going to look like this. And we have control over pretty much everything here. So I'm going to set it back to 5. This value here basically determines the randomness of the scale, as you can see. And these two noise textures determine the detail on the rigs, for example. You can of course also change the width and height of the bricks, as you can see. So now let's select all of these nodes and Ctrl J again. Move this up a little, this one. And press N again and let's call, the, uh, call it bricks. Also let's put this one in here. Now let's create two new materials. Let's call the first one bricks and the second one concrete. Now here select the concrete and here select the bricks. I recommend that you save before you go on. So now let's go to shading and let's go to cycles. This will work best in cycles. So now let's go to the world properties and go to the sky texture. I'm going to set air dust and ozone to 3. And if you want you can go here under film and make transparent. One more thing that I'm going to do here is to set the rotation to 90. With the concrete material selected let's add a color ramp and plug it in the base color, make this, uh, this color here something gray like this, and divide something light gray like this. Now add a mix RGB and set it to difference here, and connect it to the color. I mean of course connect it to the factor, sorry. With the node render add-on installed, press Ctrl T while having the mix RGB selected and delete the image texture. Connect the, ve the vector to the color one and add a mask wave texture. Set the scale to minus 0.2, the detail to 15 and the dimension to 0. Now let's move this over here and add a noise texture. Connect the vector to the vector and let's connect the factor to color 2. Set the scale to 6, the detail again to 15 and the distortion to 4. Now add a color ramp, plug it in here and let's bring the white in. Also let's bring in the gray here. Now let's add a displacement, put that here and plug the displacement into the displacement. Now to see the displacement we need to type in displacement here and go to materials and go here to displacement and set it to displacement and bump. Now we have this mess here but don't worry we'll fix that. First let's plug this mix RGB into the height and let's set the scale to 0 0.01. Now let's add another mix RGB, leave this at mix and put it here. Add a bump node and plug this into the normal here and duplicate it 
by the way, set the strength here to 0.1 and here to 0.16. Plug the normal into the normal and here grab the height and plug that into this mix node here. Now add a Warner texture and plug the distance into the normal, I mean, sorry, into the height and here into color 2. Set it to distance to edge. Set the scale to 0.46 and add a color ramp. Plug that in here. Grab the right handle and set it to 0.009. Now let's hit Shift A again and add a mapping node. Plug the vector into the vector and add another mix RGB node. Set the factor to 0.733. Connect the color to the vector. Now add a texture coordinate node. Connect the object to the vector, I mean to the color 2, and to color 1. Add a noise texture. And let's plug that in here. I think I'm going to make the color here a little darker, like this for example. And now we can see it much better. And let's also make this one darker as well. Like this. Now let's select the material for the bricks and add a color ramp. Plug it again into the base color. Put the black somewhere around here and the white here. Now with the white selected let's make this a light brown reddish color like this and the black a dark brown. Now let's press the plus sign here, bring this one here and let's make it a little lighter and click on it once more and make it like this. Let's add a mix RGB, plug the color one in here and let's plug the color into the normal here and add a bump node. Plug that in here. Oh, and we need to plug it into the height. Add a displacement. And again here, tap in displacement and set it to displacement and bump. Plug in the displacement and plug the normal into the normal. Let's set the height to 0.01 and the scale will, I mean, here again type in displacement and set it to displacement and bump. Add a displacement node, plug the displacement into the displacement and set the height to 0 0.01 and the middle to 0. Now plug the normal into the normal of the bump. Add a math node, set it to multiply and set this value here to 0 0.01, plug the value in here. Now duplicate the mix node and plug it into the factor here. Add a roll noise texture, plug it into, I mean first set it to displacement and bump. And now plug this in color 2 and into the value here. Also let's set the scale to 10 and add another Warner texture, just duplicate this one and set it to smooth F1. Plug the distance into the color 1 and into the factor and set the scale to 5000. I think I'm going to change some things in the geometry nodes because I think they are too dense right now. All I'm going to do for that is to set the distortion to point, I mean 2.7. I think this looks better. For the render, let's go to layout mode, go to rendered view, 
and let's go to color management and under look set this to very high contrast i think this looks even better let's position our view i think i like something like this now hit shift a and add a camera Control out zero to go into camera view and G set set to move it on the local set axis and now let's go here to the world properties and I think I'm going to change the rotation a little bit here like this for example I'm also going to add an empty plane axis and now set this to face project and press G and control and now it will snap to the faces this is going to be our focus point I recommend that you turn this off as, you, as soon as you don't need it anymore and now let's select the camera and go here now check the depth of field and select the empty I'm going to set it to 0.5 I think, I, I think this looks good in the render properties if you have denoise enabled I recommend that you uh, disable it because it will cause the render to lose a lot of detail instead you should increase the sample count I'm going to set it to 1280 you can of course go higher or lower depending on what you like but like I said higher values mean a better render in the end but of course it will also increase the rendering time so now let's press I mean first let's save again and press F12 to render so that's it of the tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.